Layla and Carter had been wed for 17 years. They resided in a spacious apartment in a suburban area with their two offspring, Avery and Hudson. The youngsters were in the midst of a challenging phase. Adolescence with all its predicaments, troublesome conduct, and clashes. Unquestionably, the parents themselves experienced the full brunt of their children's teenage years. Incessant discord over rules, boycotts, and at times, outright defiance towards their authority. However, Layla mostly dealt with all the disputes. Her husband believed that the responsibility of raising the children should fall solely upon the woman, while he only concerned with securing a comfortable standard of living for the family, had no desire to engage in matters of education after a draining day of work. The fact that his wife also held a job and experienced fatigue did not significantly bother him. After enduring so many years of matrimony, he no longer held his wife in the same awe as before. His focus had shifted entirely to the mundanity of daily life, leaving Layla feeling increasingly disenchanted. One day at work, she inadvertently stumbled upon a conversation during lunch between her younger colleagues. These twenty-something women were animatedly chatting about their recent outings, romantic overtures, thoughtful gestures, flowers, and dining spots. As Layla listened, she felt a wave of melancholy wash over her. She realized that such excitement had long since vanished from her own life, and she yearned to recapture those thrilling feelings from the past. At times, she attempted to rejuvenate the spark with her husband, suggesting they embark on an adventure together, yet he showed little interest in her proposals. The lively laughter of the girls nearby snapped her back to reality. They were sharing tales about one of their colleagues' online dating escapades. For sure, I set up my profile on that dating platform, and suddenly, I was inundated with messages from guys. It felt like I was in demand. Then one of them really caught my attention and told me he had heard. One girl's voice rang out. Layla, being a traditionalist, had never really explored such avenues, but for the first time, she found herself intrigued. She understood that younger individuals often opted for online connections, but the question lingered in her mind. Could she possibly venture into the same territory? Layla didn't set out with the intention of meeting someone. Rather, she yearned for the stimulating company of another individual who could inject some sparkle into her monotonous existence. Everyday correspondence held no obligations, but it had the potential to enliven her dull routine. And so, she made the decision to sign up on the website. The first task at hand was to upload a photograph and disclose her age. Preferring honesty, she opted to deduct a mere three years from her true age and selected a photo from a similar time frame. With the registration process complete, Layla stared at the lifeless blue glow of her computer screen in anticipation. Yet, nothing happened. What were you expecting? Look at yourself. Who would desire you at this stage of life? She mused gloomily before shutting her laptop. The following day, during a break from work, Layla's inquisitiveness got the better of her, and she decided to peruse the site once more. As she opened her page, she found herself astounded by the deluge of messages received and the hundreds of men who had viewed her profile. As she perused the messages, she couldn't help but be taken aback by the diverse range of suitors. Not only were there peers, but also younger men vying for her attention. Their letters evoked laughter within her. However, Layla staunchly believed in fostering connections between individuals of similar ages, and thus, she left those letters unanswered. One particular message stood out from the rest, capturing her attention. It was impeccably crafted, exhibiting utmost politeness and brevity. The intended recipient was a certain Dellen. Layla elected to respond. As it turned out, he possessed exceptional intellect and an extraordinary sense of humor, constantly showering her with compliments. They engaged in conversation for approximately one week until he extended an invitation to meet at a cafe. Layla declined, as her intentions did not align with pursuing a meeting. One evening, after enduring a demanding day's work and subsequent household chores, Layla found solace on the sofa in the living room. The children had retired to their rooms, 
finally affording her peaceful solitude. Suddenly, the sound of the front door creaking open broke the silence. Carter had returned from his shift. Judging by the disgruntled grumbling resonating from the hallway, it was evident that he was not in high spirits. Entering the living room, he promptly discarded his soiled t-shirt and socks, shamelessly flinging the dirty laundry onto his wife, uttering the words, wash these today, I'll need them tomorrow night. The behavior exhibited by her spouse left Layla utterly shocked. To exacerbate matters, he added, is dinner on the table. Excellent. Ensure the children don't disturb me. Carter headed to the kitchen, and Layla, enraged by her husband's disrespectful behavior, threw his dirty clothes on the floor. She remained lying on the floor, completely baffled by his audacity. However, the blatant neglect caused a change in her, forcing her to return to the dating site. Layla quickly agreed to meet with Dylan a few days later, seeking solace in conversation and a much-needed distraction from her turbulent circumstances. Nervous on the eve of their first meeting, she decided to take off her wedding ring to avoid unpleasant questions. Choosing a cafe as far away from her usual surroundings as possible, she set up a date. To Layla's delight, Dylan proved to be an immensely friendly and gallant person. When he saw her for the first time, he couldn't help exclaiming, you're even more charming in person than in the photo. Layla was delighted with this recognition, because her husband, with whom she seemed to live separately, had long since stopped showering her with such compliments. The two talked continuously throughout the evening, discovering kindred spirits in each other who could discuss any topic in the world, and their dialogue was not interrupted for a minute. Over the next week, they kept exchanging messages. Initially, Layla felt a pang of anxiety for not disclosing her marital status and children, yet Dylan never broached the subject. Their conversations flowed freely, touching on topics like travel, art, education, and a myriad of other subjects, while family somehow remained untouched. Then they met again, and during this encounter, Dylan revealed that he too was married. However, he explained that he and his wife had been living as if they belonged to two separate worlds and that a divorce was merely a technicality at this point. Layla didn't appear taken aback by his confession, largely because she had refrained from mentioning her own familial situation. Thinking it only fair to share her truth, she began, Dylan, you see, I also. Unfortunately, her sentence was cut short when the waiter arrived with a fresh dish for their table. Oops, there must be some mistake. We didn't order this, Dylan said with a puzzled tone. No mistake at all. Sir, this is on the house. A token of appreciation for being the most enchanting couple here tonight, the waiter responded with a smile. With a grin from ear to ear, Dylan gazed at Layla. He gently held her hand and planted a soft kiss on it. She felt a pang of unease, never having found the right moment to tell him about her husband. Day by day, Layla found herself more attached to Dylan. His shower of flowers left her in a bit of a fix. Sometimes, she'd bring them home, passing them off as a gesture from her bosses for a job well done or a token from clients on special holidays. Other times, she placed them at the office, adorning the space near her desk. Layla. The way your husband spoils you is positively enviable, like a perpetual courtship of sweets and blooms, her co-workers remarked admiringly. On one occasion, as Layla carried yet another floral arrangement through the door, she caught a glimpse of her husband aggressively discarding the previous bunch. I don't want to see these in our home again, he bellowed. Layla stared at Carter, dumbfounded. You're upset because you haven't presented me with a single rose in ages, Yet others recognize my worth, she retorted. Seeing Carter's face turn beet red was a clear indicator that she had hit a nerve. If you had someone else, he started, his words muffled by clenched teeth. That someone would certainly act more like a gentleman than you. A man who delights in giving me flowers compared to one who hurls soiled garments my way and expects me to play the maid. Layla scoffed. Perhaps you should ponder what sort of partner any sensible woman would prefer. Carter felt disheartened by his wife's reaction. 
Accustomed to having everyone around him heed his commands without question, he was at a loss for words when confronted with her statement. Fast forward to the next week, Dylan invited Layla out again. This time, he picked a lavish restaurant right in the heart of the city. As they took their seats, Layla couldn't help but notice the joyful radiance emanating from Dylan. After dessert had been served, Dylan reached into his bag and produced a piece of paper. Layla, I've got some news for you. Take a look, he said, handing her the document. This is my divorce certificate. I'm officially a free man now, which allows me to ask you something that's been on my mind for a while, he continued. He then took out a small box from his jacket pocket and opened it slowly. A diamond ring sparkled brightly in front of Layla's astonished eyes. Will you marry me, Layla? He asked, his voice filled with hope. The woman found herself in a state of bewilderment as Dylan's decisive actions caught her off guard. She had grown weary of her husband's lack of consideration, but jumping into another marriage so hastily was an abrupt change for which she felt unprepared. She tendered an apology and handed the ring back to Dylan, requesting a couple of days to contemplate this weighty decision. On her way home, her mind was flooded with thoughts. While the family dynamics were not as they once were, Dylan seemed dependable and attentive. However, what about the children? What about the countless years she and her husband had spent together? Upon arriving home, Layla was greeted by an unusual sight. The house was pristine, exuding a tantalizing aroma. Hudson appeared, offering his assistance in removing her coat. Why the pensive look, son? Layla inquired. With a smile, he responded, Daddy told us to take better care of you. Let's have dinner, Mom. In the kitchen, her husband was quickly sauteing something in a pan while their daughter set the table. You've done a marvelous job, Layla exclaimed as they sat down to dine. Did you cook everything yourself? Well, you've taught us everything, Avery replied. Daddy reckons we're old enough to lend you a helping hand more often. Carter glanced at his wife and offered a rueful smile, his gaze betraying the regret for his past behavior. Later, once the kids had vanished, he made amends, expressing the love and appreciation she longed to hear. The evening went off without a hitch, leaving Layla to wonder if this change would stick or fade away with the morning light. Despite everything they had weathered over the years, her skepticism still gnawed at her. Tomorrow, she faced the task of giving Dylan her decision. Layla's mind wandered back through the shared memories with Carter, the affectionate gestures, and the beautiful bouquets. Yes, she cherished those moments, but she wasn't searching for a replacement husband. What she sought was the self-assurance she'd lost over the years, a confidence she managed to reclaim, thanks to Dylan's influence. She finally resolved to come clean to him. Giving Dylan a ring, Layla braced herself to break the news. Despite the difficulty, she confessed that she'd been married for a considerable time and wasn't prepared to abandon her family. She simply lacked companionship. Bracing for the worst, she anticipated a barrage of criticism, but instead, Dylan responded, Layla, I'm not upset with you. Meeting you reaffirmed that there's nothing binding me to my wife anymore. I've been dithering over a divorce, fearing how the kids would take it, but they're grown-ups now and handled it well. I feel liberated. I'm truly glad we met. Your husband is a fortunate man. I hope he acknowledges and cherishes that. I realize I was a bit premature with my proposal, but thank you for the moments we shared. After that heart-to-heart, -heart, Layla and Dylan lost touch. Layla dove back into her everyday existence, observing the incredible change in his wife. The newfound confidence and independence she radiated her husband started to take notice of her once more. He even extended invitations to quaint cafes and the theater on weekends. It dawned on him that after all these years of marriage, he could still lose her, which prompted him to reconsider his approach and treat her with renewed affection.